Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to launch God of War Ragnarok on the Steam Deck. You will see two download links on the description. The first one is Steamless. Click this to download. The second one would be a fork of Goldberg Emulator. Click this one to download. For our first step, make sure to have Lutris installed. If you don't have Lutris installed, go to the Discover Store and then search for Lutris. And then install this one. In your case, you should see install, but in my case, I've already installed it, so I would just click Launch. Let's close this cover store for now. And then let's prepare the files. Right click on Steamless file, extract, and extract archive here out of the text subfolder. After extraction, go to the Ragnarok installation folder. In my case, I installed it on the SSD games folder. As you see here, we have GOWR.RNE. Copy GOWR.RNE file. Go back to Steamless, open Steamless folder, and paste it here. Rename it to dot exe and then Olutris click plus add locally installed game name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it Steamless select a runner and then choose wine go to game options click this three dots and then select steamless.exe press OK and then wine prefix. We're gonna need a Lutris prefix folder for Steamless. In my case, I have it on home. I've made the folder called prefixes. And then inside prefixes, we're gonna make a new folder and then call it Steamless. Press OK. And then press OK again. Go to runner options, wine version, and set it to Proton Experimental. And then click save. Double click on Steamless. It might take a few seconds or maybe a minute. There we go. Click this button. Click on GOWR.exe and then click open. And then click this button. After it says successfully unpacked file, close it. And we can now close Lutris. As you see here, we have a new file here. Let's cut it. Go back to the God of War Ragnarok installation folder and paste it here. Now, we're going to rename the old God of War Ragnarok EXE to dot .back or whatever you want. Just make sure that there's something else on the end of the file. We're going to rename this to God of War Ragnarok .exe. Just like that. And then open MOWIN release. Go to game folder. Go to regular x64. And then drag this file into the game folder. Press overwrite. Now, it is crucial that you do not use the experimental version. If you do, the game will be stuck on the black screen. Let's proceed. Go to the game folder, right click on the empty space, and then create a new folder. Name this Steam underscore settings. There we go. Now, open MWIN, go to the game folder again, and go to Steam settings example. Drag this file inside that folder. There we go. Now, remove the word example. Double click on it. And then change this to one. Click save. And then right click on God of War.exe. Add to Steam. Okay, we are now in gaming mode. At this point, you could just click play. But if for some reason the game still complains about the PSSDK, you could also try this command. Go to the properties and then launch options. And then type Steam Deck equals one space percent sign command percent sign. There, and play the game. But I really want to try this without the command, just to try my luck. Ooh, look at that. So the game launched. Let's see if we could play the game. Although, if I remember correctly, when it comes to PlayStation games, they always tend to uh, compile shaders for like 30 minutes to an hour. So this is probably going to take some time. And I'm not sure how long would this take. And it's now in 22%. But this is only a short preview of the gameplay. So enjoy the short gameplay and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Oh,
Where's that trail gone? 